And as a midnight deadline for the latest launch of build to order flats approaches, demand for them so far is down compared to the first batch. Applications close at midnight for the second batch of build to order flats launched this year. And so far, demand is down compared to the first batch. Well, yet analysts tell us that the housing needs of some groups are still not being met. Eileen Po has more. There were 4.1 applicants vying for a unit in January's BTO exercise. But for the exercise this month, the number is at 2.4, as at 5 p.m. on Monday. Some buyers may have held back their application this round. Uh, one reason being that uh, there's an upcoming sale of balance flat program. Some of those flats are already almost completed and you can actually get the flats quite fast. Some 3,000 flats will be offered in a sales of balance flats exercise in May. Analysts also say the lower application rate for this month's BTO exercise shows that supply has generally caught up with demand. But they add that housing needs of some groups are still not being met. If you look at the overall figure, it does show that it's, uh, it does seem to give you the impression that housing needs are being met. But if we look at the various subgroups, then we can actually pick up that uh, certain groups, uh, their housing needs are still not met. So for example, one that still stands out very strongly is the singles. Uh, the application rate for uh, BTO flats is still very high among singles. As at 5 p.m. on Monday, there are almost 28 singles applying for a two-room flat in Yishun. Over at Sambawang, there are nine single applicants for each unit. This month's B